Hi guys, welcome back and uh, this is a quick fix for all the OnePlus 3 and 3T users in case you are running the latest Android Nougat so I heard a lot of comments here from few days from the day I uh, we updated our de device to latest 4.0.3 so there are so much huge battery drain issues coming I'm not feeling uh, initially in my device but uh, after some time I got this problem too. so I just did a quick fix here so before that I jumped to the OnePlus forum I had a lot of issues how people are solving some whatever method I'm going to show you it is perfectly working and uh, I'm getting a great battery backup this is my OnePlus 3T so I'm just show you here my battery stats so right now I am at 54 percentage and this is a screen on time and I still have two and a half hour that I consume so I'm making a near to five hour plus screen on time so as still you can see the standby is very great one day two hour so we'll start with a quick fix how you can do that so this method doesn't need any kind of specific requirement routing the stuff so first off you need to go to your Android settings about phone click on this build number seven to eight times once you see this option like the other option has been enabled you should see a new entry here go inside that and make sure to turn on this dose mode and also turn on the advanced reboot from here now once you enable that thing let's go uh, inside some other settings so go back here and also now come to the battery section that is the most important you have to do here so once you go inside the battery so oneplus has introduced a new concept from the community which is called as aggressive dose that you can access from here aggressive dose and app have a nation now you need to make sure you should disable this thing here aggressive uh, enable aggressive dose and application this should be turned off now once you have turned that off you need to just go back here now go inside this storage section so from here you can go to the storage section here storage in the memory inside the storage you got to uh, go inside this thing here and uh, this entry called cache data so either you can wait for it to completely show or you can just clear all the data so it got 1.2 gigabytes of cache data so just clear it and wait until it shows some zero so uh, now it is recalculated hopefully it should be pretty fast the 7 plus 3t let's see so it has got zero now come back here another section here go to the apps and should uh, you should locate uh, entry called google play services google play store and services right go to the storage section manage space and you need to clear all the data let's clear that come back here and also you can do further on here go to google play store storage and uh, clear cache everything right once you do that now you need to go inside this uh, recovery now this uh, i'm going to show you on both the ways whether you have the stall custom recovery or the custom recovery so in 3t i have the custom recovery so i'm just going to the custom recovery from here the same I will show you on the one plus three so right here you can go inside this custom recovery so you need to clear cache from here actually so steps are always same on both the phones I'm just showing you the recovery steps that you guys should take here at a beep that you heard is a blip blip so you need to come inside this English after selecting English pipe data and cache inside that you need to make sure just only select wipe cache in case you do something else completely thing will be gone so make sure just select only wipe cache i'm just telling you again uh, inside wipe data and cache just select wipe cache and then select all right so after that you need to either click on done or click on the reboot i'm just going to reboot my device now uh, outside the torque in case you have the custom recovery let it boot first So we got here uh, we have so you need to go inside this vibe advanced vibe yes you need to select uh, vibe delvic and the cache that's it either delvic is not necessary but you should select it no problem vibe delvic cache just click on the reboot now if you follow this step your device will hopefully uh, most of the users have got their problem rectified with that you should give it a try here so uh, let me know guys in the comment uh, whether this is working or not so this is going to help a lot of users in case uh, this solves your problem so that's simple step uh, just follow the steps completely and check the video description i'll put my blog post link i write personally there all the steps mentioned here where you have to go and follow that hopefully you should solve that problem so that's it guys for this video this is sort of 
Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Have a great day.